I'm the Deadwood Jedi. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. I'm on stream today. We are in the account of Halb Soup. There it is, Halb Soup. Uh, he came to me looking to improve his clan boss team. He was doing Nightmare clan boss, doing four keys on Nightmare, or three keys on Nightmare. We wanted to improve that, and I think we definitely did. Um, so just taking a quick look, this is a pretty early level account. Now, by that, what I mean is we don't have the crazy, crazy gear. We have a lot of it, it's just not rolled. Um, and we have a nice variety, and we actually had some decent lifesteal gear, which was great, because we were able to put everybody in lifesteal. But what I was really excited about this is that we were able to run a team with two champions I don't usually get to use. One is Blind Seer, who's just amazing, and the other one is Jaw Reg. So uh, those are the champions we were able to bring in. Blind Seer is great primarily because of its Dark Shroud ability, places a block debuff for two turns, and a shield on all allies equal to 30% of this champion's max HP. That's a really significant shield. And it's on a three turn cooldown. So we don't have to make her super fast to use this. She also has an amazing defensive aura for all battles and a triple attack on the A1. So we can use Giant Slayer on her, get more damage out of this build, which is fantastic. Um, ja Reg, of course, is great because he has ally protection and increased defense. Um, and he also has decreased attack on his A1. He's a really good champion for decreased attack. It isn't a huge percent chance. It books up to, what is it, 60% Sniper Mastery makes it 65%, I want to say. Um, it's not like the best thing, but it is still pretty significant. And if you don't have a decreased attack champion, he's definitely one to do. And he helps you survive with that ally protection, as you will see in the run that we do here. Now, Jarreg, we had to scrimp and scrape to get all the all the stuff done, but I'm really happy with it. It's got him 225 speed. Great accuracy, 254, it's ultra nightmare level accuracy, 50k HP, 3200 defense, definitely good. They can all go up. Those are numbers that can definitely go up. As you can see, we have five star gear on stuff, but I'm really happy with what we have there. Blind Seer, kind of similar, right? Maxing out that defense, 4100 defense, 44,000 HP. We want her to last as long as possible. We do have her at the slowest speed in the comp going last, um, and that's gonna allow her to place that block debuff for both the uh, affinity debuffs as well as the stun. And then we have Rosin here. Rosin's going to be a big damage dealer for us. As you know, he can hit really hard. We do have him 100% crit rate. Okay accuracy. Good accuracy for even Ultra Nightmare at 232. 3300 defense. Obviously, we want that up. 30,000 HP. Obviously, we want that up. Um, but for what we have where the where this uh, account is at, it's a pretty solid build. Skullcrusher is going to give us our counterattack. He's also going to give us ally protection paired with Jareg. It's going to make us a really tanky team. We're going to last a long time. 42, almost 4,300 defense, 40,000 HP. Again, both these numbers can go up, but because Jar Reg is doing the second ally protection, he's the one I'm more concerned about, actually, not Skull Crusher. So um, this is really good for him. Set 173 speed, he's going the second slowest, so he's going to have go take his turn right before Blind Seer to get counterattack on the most allies possible. Um, crit rate, obviously, can go up, but you know with what we have, I think this is actually a pretty good spot. For a Nightmare team, this is an incredibly... Uh, tanky team, incredibly strong build, I think. Um, and then last is our Poisoner, Occult Brawler. Now, obviously, you can use the Frozen Banshee, but ours is only level 50. So we're using Occult Brawler, and Occult Brawler is better even when he's on Weak Affinity, as you're going to see in our Nightmare run. He's going against Weak Affinity. He still does a great job. 40,000 HP, probably a little bit high, honestly, for what I'd like, but he has a really high base, so it's hard to keep him under that. And then 3,200 defense is good always can go up but it's on par with the rest of our champions and that's kind of what we want 174 speed he's going faster than skull crusher slower than rosin so rosin plays that decreased defense and debuff and it works for all our champions and then 230 accuracy is going to work for both nightmare and ultra nightmare one thing to keep in mind guys first off we do have masteries for everybody but rosin is not booked that means this skill the decreased defense and weaken will not land 100 percent it's on a four turn cooldown not a three turn cooldown so we don't have that up every cycle these are definitely going to be things that would improve our damage considerably. Um, and his A1 is not booked at all either. So those are the skills he uses on Clan Boss. If we had those booked, it would be an amazing run. I think, uh, I don't know, you guys watch the run, you're going to see exactly the damage that we do. And just imagine how much more we could do if we get Rosin fully booked out and get those guys' defense even higher. Because the more defense on Rosin, the more damage he does.
not too bad, guys, right? I mean, we lasted 50 turns. This is basically an unkillable team that's not an unkillable team. I'm really impressed with that. Now, uh, I mean, 30 million damage uh, right around there is, I think, a really big improvement from the three key we were doing before on Nightmare. And I think a one key is in the offing. So more defense on Rosin and getting him booked will, I think, skyrocket our damage in this build. Obviously, adding more crit damage would help and upping the gear on everybody. But now we have a consistent, clear space to improve this team from, and I think that's really valuable. Um, one of the things I want to point out is this speed tune itself. Um, I have it here in the calculator. I'll try to zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit easier. But basically, we're, we're working on Nightmare, right? 172 speed is Seer. She's going the slowest. Skull Crusher also, but just a little bit faster than her. Jareg, Rosin, and a Colt Brawler here. So you can see we have all the speeds in there. Got the appropriate speed sets where we need it. Now we did a one turn delay for Blind Seer, two turns for Skull Crusher to make sure. Oh, I'm sorry. I have these for the uh, for when we run Ultra Nightmare here. But you can see one turn delay for Blind Seer, uh, no delays on Skull Crusher, and then a two turn delay for Jaw Reg just to make sure that we get everything going at the right spots. Now, as we zoom back out, make it a little easier to see how this run plays. Right from the get-go, everybody's going first because we're faster than the clan boss. We get that unkillable up from Skull Crusher, so we're, we go get the counterattacks going right away. And then Jarreg takes a double turn here in between the AoEs, and that's really key because that second attack, he's going to put up ally protection again, along with the increased defense, and then Blind Seer putting up the shield and the block debuffs keeps us tanky and unkillable. And you can see this is the exact same all the way down. We get that double turn in between every AoE. That's what we want to do. And then uh, and Blind Seer going last means that we have block debuff for all the debuffs from affinities, from the stun, all that stuff. If we move this to Ultra Nightmare, which is the run I want to show you guys right now, just kind of give you an idea of what this could do. Well, we do have a little bit of change in some of the delays just to make sure everything works on time. Uh, we start off with Jar Rig's ally protection. That's going to make sure that uh, when he comes back around, it, it happens right here in between the AoEs. And that's going to have give us double ally protection, actually, for the second AoEs, which is really strong and helpful. Skull Crusher, we wait so that we get the counterattack up at the right time. And then Blind Seer, in the run we're going to do, I had her block the debuff and put up her shield right before the stun here. Now, of course, if you wanted to, I think you could actually use it right between the AoEs. And I think that would be really helpful there as well. Uh, because that would give us the shield for that AoEs. And because... The clan boss doesn't care if you have block debuffs up, doesn't care at all. And because of Jarag's skills are falling off, no one will have increased defense. Blind Seer will still have block debuffs up for the stun. And Jarag, even though he doesn't have it, he's still not going to take the stun because the clan boss doesn't care about that. Uh, clan boss cares about increased defense, counterattack, and, uh, and uh, what is it, reflect damage, not block debuffs. So. That could have been a possibility. That might have helped us survive a little bit longer using that shield, basically, between the AoEs. But it's a little bit of a balance. That's something you're going to have to kind of assess for yourself when you're running this kind of comp. See which one works better, and then you can make that adjustment for yourself. But uh, that's the Ultra Nightmare team. Let's go ahead and watch the run.
So not too shabby, right? We, I mean, we're still short of a four key on Ultra Nightmare, but I think if we build up Rosin, I think even with the team as it is, I think it's a four key Ultra Nightmare squad. And lasting about 30 turns is pretty incredible, quite frankly. I think that's probably the more impressive part about the build over anything else. Um, I do think Frozen Banshee maybe would do a little bit better job as far as putting poison up. Also, it's easier to build her tanky. Another thing that we could have done, I realize halfway through the run is I could have used Blind Seer's block debuff skill before the second AoE. That would have given us the shield for that AoE hit from the clan boss. And because the clan boss doesn't care if you have block debuffs on, it's not going to affect the stun targeting. He'll still stun somebody with or without it. Doesn't matter. So we could have used it there and it would have stayed on Blind Seer. And because she's a leader and because we're facing Void Affinity on Ultra Nightmare, she still would have taken the stun, still would have blocked those debuffs. The difference is she wouldn't have had the shield for the stun itself. So there's a balance there. We want to see, are we doing more damage? Are we lasting longer with the shield on the stun? Or lasting longer with the shield on the allies for the uh, for the second AoE attack? So that's kind of the balance you're going to have to judge to make that decision. But it definitely gives us options. So I think you guys can see, Blind Seer is an amazing champion for a clan boss. Uh, if you need a, a debuff blocker, I don't know that there's anybody really better. We love bringing in Sepulchre Sentinel because she brings in decreased attack. We love bringing in uh, Grizzled Jarl because he hits so hard. We love you know using a variety of different champions, but honestly, Blind Seer is amazing. Two-turn block debuff is really rare in this game and really, really strong for clan boss. So if you have Blind Seer, and you're sleeping on her for clan boss, you might want to take another look at her. And for those of you guys still needing that decreased attack champion or looking to survive a little bit longer, Jarreg does work. I mean, he does work. You know what I'm saying? So definitely, guys, uh, break those guys out of your vault. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please, please hit that subscription button. We are right around 20,000 subs. It is a goal of mine. I think we're going to hit that uh, pretty soon. Might have already done it by the time this video comes out. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Hit that like. Catch me on Twitch. This is what I do. This is what I do on Twitch. We have a great time. We look at new stuff. We learn some things. It's always fun. So come join me there. Till next we meet, I'm the Deadwood Jedi. Thank you.